We're up 15 about midway through the third quarter. Uh, what did you see from that point on? Yeah, this team keeps fighting. Uh, give them credit. Uh, you know, they made a run uh, right, right around that point. I'm going to have to go, go back and look at the tape uh, to see exactly what happened during that stretch. But, um, you know, give them credit. And then just wondering what you saw in the half court offensively uh, in the possessions and, you know, how much LeBron was on the ball and having to make plays and what you were looking to see. Yeah, we gotta we gotta continue to to look for the right balance. Um, you know, they have uh, two two elite scorers down the other end. Uh, you know, that had us with uh, with the lineup out there that we could make sure we can get enough stops uh, to try to win. Um, you know, some guys stepped up to to hit big shots. You know, with uh, I think Kenny and uh, Alex both hit threes uh, towards the end of the fourth there. And um, you know, we gotta continue to find ways to lighten his load. Okay, Kyle Boone, please. Hey, Frank. Um, was there any consideration to putting Trez in at the end of the game? Um, yes. Given, given the, uh, what was the choice there? Yeah, for sure. Um, but Robin Lopez is huge. And uh, like I said, they have two, uh, two dominant offensive players having huge nights. And uh, we wanted as much size that we could get uh, at the rim for defensive purposes. Okay, Dave McMenamin, please. Frank, how does this one compare to the last two losses? Obviously, you guys were hitting some outside shots. You had some several uh, different contributors on offense, but same results. I don't know if there are any things that you point to that you liked in tonight versus the last two losses uh, versus you didn't like. Yeah, we're just, uh, you know, we're just in an adjustment period. You know, it's, it's tough for me to go back to what the last two uh, two games, you know, exactly looked like, um, but we just didn't get the job that, done tonight. Uh, we're adjusting to uh, some guys being out. Uh, we're doing some good things, uh, just falling a little bit short. But it's a uh, it's a long it's a long season. You know, our group's remaining together. They're they're fighting, and um, you know we'll get back to work tomorrow. Dan Wilkie, please. Frank, um, you guys don't have two days off uh, between now and the All Star break. LeBron won't have a full All Star break. Is there any consideration to? giving him a day, um, minutes again, over 40 minutes tonight. Is that something you'll have to consider? Yeah, we, we consider, uh, you know, we consider that all season long with him, um, you know, and we'll, we'll make, uh, make those decisions on a game-by-game -game basis. Okay, um, we'll go to Bill Oram, please. Frank, kind of along the same lines, if, barring an injury, are you comfortable with the idea of LeBron playing all 72 in this season, just considering all, you know, the short off season, you know, now no all-star break, the compressed schedule, all that? We'll see. You know, we'll see. We'll continue to evaluate it game to game. Meet with the medical staff, meet with LeBron, see how he's feeling, see what the load looks like, and make those decisions game to game. Okay, Mark Medina, please. Hey, Frank, along those lines, huh? What are your takes on how LeBron's managed the workload that he's had uh, without Anthony Davis on the floor compared to before that? How he's managed it? Yeah. He's a workhorse. He's doing everything, doing everything he can for us. Okay, well, last two questions. Um, we'll go with Claudia Gestro, please. Frank, the Wizards are a much better team than their place in the stand is suggest how tough was it to face Westbrook Lopez and Beal at the same time yeah I mean that's you know, the, those two guys play like that you're looking at one of the best backcourts in the whole game in you know in all of basketball so uh you know it's extremely difficult I thought our guys really competed made things tough on those guys but uh those, those guys are playing at a super high level thank you okay and last question just to follow up with um Dan please Frank, obviously LeBron is a workhorse, and, and he's proven that. Um, but between the short free throw in the last 10 seconds, um, you know, late on the follow of Westbrook and stuff, are you seeing any signs of fatigue with him on the court? Hey, we're just grinding away, trying to get wins, and, um, you know, we'll keep evaluating where we're at with that. All right, thanks so much.